的作用交换意见。四是国际金融体系改革，双方将评估匹兹堡峰会以来的进展，探讨进一步深化两国在国际金融机构改革方面的合作，包括推动国际货币基金组织如期完成匹兹堡峰会确定的份额目标。刚才连线前方记者尹卫斌的时候，他介绍了这次对话有一个重要的背景，就是欧洲的债务危机。目前欧债危机愈演愈烈，不断的引发人们对于世界经济的担忧，也是使得这次中美之间的对话备受世界的瞩目。这次经济对话是在国际经济形势总体企稳向好，但是仍然存在着众多的不确定因素，特别是面临着欧洲。主权债务危机挑战的背景下，举行的一次具有战略意义的经济会议。美国方面，当七千五百亿欧元援助希腊方案出台以后，美国参院以九十四票对零票通过一项议案，要求包括国际货币基金组织在内的美国执行董事对无法收回贷款的国家投票反对借贷。美国是国际货币基金组织内唯一拥有否决权的国家。这一议案如果实施，国际货币基金组织和欧洲负债国家的交通通道将会被阻塞。显然，对于美国来说，欧洲债务危机最好能够通过欧元区各国自己的努力来解决。The commitments that eurozone members have made truly are respected. So I think it's been a challenge for the eurozone, but I think the eurozone countries have responded with great determination. 由希腊债务危机引发的欧洲债务危机，使各国对全球经济的走势抱有忧虑。很多人都担心世界经济会二次探底。在这样的背景下，中国和美国作为最大的发展中国家和最大的发达国家，两国间的对话吸引了全球的目光。各国都在期待中美双方能否加深沟通，增加合作，以稳定甚至引领世界经济走出危机。在对话开幕之前，美国前劳工部长赵小兰在上海接受了本台记者的采访。他表示，中美战略与经济对话对于两国关系的发展有着重大的意义，应当更加频繁的开展。他认为，对话的重要性不仅仅在于解决当前问题，真正的意义是建立一种长期的关系。I think the importance of the SEND lies not in the ability to come and resolve short-term questions and problems. The real value. Of the SEND is a long-term relationship building that will facilitate understanding and communications between China and the United States. For example, because of the close relationship that was developed、uh, through the strategic economic dialogue under the previous administration, when the financial crisis hit in September of 2008. Our government was able to communicate very, very quickly with that of the Chinese government counterpart, and try to resolve and limit the damage of the financial crisis. So it's that ability to respond and communicate with one another, and developing the relationship of familiarity and understanding that is very important. And I think that is the real value of the strategic economic、uh, dialogue. 那么，关于这次中美对话，中美政界、商界有不少的知名人士纷纷发表展望。马上一起来检索一下。Um, and and coming out of the the downturn, we should apply those lessons that U.S. China trade relations, business, commerce are more important than ever. No, I, I think there's、uh, reasonable stability in China-U.S. economic relations. Actually, most trade, I would say, generally takes place in a positive、uh, framework. I think the relations between China and the United States are really quite good, and you know, I I believe that China and the United States are the two engines that will help bring the world economy out of this economic weakness. I think it's important for them to keep working together. And I actually have a fair amount of confidence that we'll be able to solve the most pressing problems as they arise.、Um, but it will take a lot of work. It's clear in my travels. You see how China is growing. You see how Brazil is growing. You see how India is growing. Other parts of Asia continuing to grow. Other parts of Latin America.、Uh, the world economy is doing a lot better. And I think we're all just hoping that this Southern European issue is not a contagion.